so I had three options at the time because I had Tulsa, I had Halifax, Halifax, and then there's the the you know the USL USL League One. Yeah. Uh, what was it? The, the same club that you were going to go for. Lansing Ignite. Lansing yeah. Ignite, yeah. So Godwin was helping me get into that as well. Mm-hmm. Three options, and I was like, you know what, that's pretty good. Mm-hmm. But then, uh, like, the Halifax coach disappeared, so we didn't hear anything from him. Yeah. And I was kind of struggling. I was like, like what are we going to do? Like, I would have loved to go back to Canada to be closer to my family and play yeah. professionally, but never heard from, from him. And then Lansing Ignite, like, didn't really work out too mm-hmm. And then I was like, damn, like, it's all up to, it's all up to Tulsa Roughnecks. And so we'll have to give it a shot. So I flew, I flew all the way from, from, from Australia. Uh, It took me like 45 hours. (laughs) (laughs) Uh, But yeah, so I flew, flew all the way from Australia. I came, when did I arrive? I arrived only a week after you guys came. Yeah, Yeah, it was like right at the beginning of February, right? Yeah, yeah. So I arrived February 14th, something like that, was it? Not that late. Oh yeah, no, because that's, like that's Valentine's. That's, yeah, yeah. This is it's February nineteenth right now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you probably got here like right at February first. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. I think so. Yeah, so I got here like February first, uh, and then I was just like so excited to train with Tulsa, mm-hmm. and, and I was like, this is my last shot, so give it everything I got, and so from then on. I just and you had a great yeah. first day. Like I remember, like it was like we were just you know I met you blah blah blah, and then the first session you had was indoors. It was indoors, right? yeah, yeah. And I remember you had like three or four great runs like yeah. instantly. I was like, wow, because you know yeah. it's always like the first day whenever a new trialist comes in, you just you kind of just see. Because mm-hmm. some will be a little bit more timid, you know. Some might not be in the right position, and we needed a left back because we only had one at the time. Yeah, yeah. And then you just went like aggressive attacking like yeah it was I, good. I think it I do good, remember I think yeah. I do remember the play you're talking about but I kind of just went into it and I was like I have nothing to lose mm-hmm. and before when I was younger I used to get nervous for mm-hmm. trials but now I'm kind of just like over that it's either I, I do well and I perform or yeah. or you know what I mean or I do bad but I kind of went into it and I was like yo I'm gonna smash this trial and I'm gonna get on the team yeah and so I mean I did really well uh, my second day was pretty good too. We yeah. did another indoor session. I think I scored a goal that day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I was like pretty pumped up after that. Uh-huh. And then, uh, and then, yeah, and then I think it was two days after that where uh, Coach Mike was like, "Like we we like you. What are you thinking? Uh, like, are you liking it here and stuff?" Mm-hmm. And I told him, "Yeah, like the guys have been been so good, and I would love to be a part of this team." And so that's when it started. That's when he started negotiating like contract mm-hmm. and stuff. And I was. Like, I was like, wow, it's it's actually going to happen. 